All right, I just got back from my buddy Irving's place, and I just picked this here up. This is a Miller Kunth power hacksaw, and it's a. Uh, uh, let's see, I was just getting ready to measure the length of the blade. It's either 12 or 14. Let's see. Sorry if I'm jostling you around. Looks like from the pins is 13 and a half. That's kind of an unusual measurement. It's probably, probably, well, I guess if I measure to the end of the blade, it's a little bit more than 14. I don't know. I'll have to pull that blade out of there and measure it because it's, uh, certainly that blade is no good anymore. This saw has had a hard life. Somebody's broke the frame. It looks like, uh, I'm not sure if this is nickel welding or if this is braze. It looks like it was. You can definitely see the little track marks from it being welded. But uh, anyway, it's more or less complete. This here is still kind of free, although uh, there's a little, little bit of slop in that. Not too bad. That's actually a removable part, so I may be able to cast a new one if it's worn too bad. That looks pretty good. It gets oilers here. One of them's missing. One of them's missing a cap. This will all have to be stripped down and cleaned real good. This uh, gear right here, I can see we got a couple of teeth mashed over or something. That's pretty rough. There's another spot down there. I think there's another one underneath the belt there that's broken. Here's another one chewed up. Um, on the guard here, where th this piece right here, it's circular with this couple of three spokes on it. Should be a smaller one right here missing the motor there should be casting uh, excuse me casters on the feet and uh, I believe also there's a I don't see where it goes on from this side but I think well anyway there's there's a piece I think that goes out to support the off cut uh, on the opposite side I, I think it's just like a bar with some sort of a little holder on it I'm certain that I can make something to uh, reproduce that right here we got there's a little lever right here that's been broken off but luckily we've got the uh, we've got the broken piece and more or less that should go back into there like that that's what holds this arm up you want to pick it up and situate your stock and then you pull this out of the way and you can lower the blade down to wherever it's supposed to sit set that back in the drip pan over here um, anything else wrong? This chain is actually pretty tight, which is surprising. Uh, but it could just be it's full of gunk. I don't see any damage on this gear. Not obvious anyway, there could always be more. Uh, but this is not a very complicated machine. Mostly it's, uh, it's just a big gear reduction, right? We've got a belt, belt pulley that goes to here goes to this shaft that gear reduces right here and then we go to this chain sprocket and it gets reduced again to here and then uh, now what is this what is this gear over here driven by huh well I have to investigate a little further something drives this gear and that's what what causes the motion of the saw blade to move And everything else, there's, I think there's even automatic shutoff on this thing here. Not sure if this is original or not, but here's this little bar comes down when it gets low enough and it pushes that that on-off switch to off. So that's kind of nice. When it gets to the bottom of the cut, it shuts itself off. It means you can more or less set it up and let it go unattended. Uh, anyway, that's it for the survey on this thing. I may... This one here, there's two ways we could go about fixing this guard. We could torch out a piece of steel plate that's that's this shape, but to fit in that size. And then uh, uh, either nickel weld it or, or braze it in. Uh, although, you know, anytime you're heating something like this up, you're always afraid of, like, cracking something else. And other than that, this thing is pretty good shape, really. I'm not sure how that got busted out of there, but... It broke out nice and clean. I wish I had that piece. We could just put it back in. 
Uh, but I could always take this off and just doctor in a piece and then use this as a pattern and cast a new one because, you know, this is the only critical dimensions and we would just cast that solid, you know, and then drill out new holes. Um, uh, that's the other way. I mean, that's a little bit more expensive, but you'd get a, uh, probably a maybe a better looking result. Although if you're careful putting this piece in, uh, you could certainly do a better looking job than they did over there on the uh, on the frame. Anyway, that's it for this. We'll uh, we'll pick this up later whenever I get around to working on this. I'm I'm not sure when that's going to be. Uh, I think these things are also sold under the name Sawmaster. I think uh, one of the guys I subscribe to, Spitfire, I think is his handle on, on YouTube. He just picked up something that was very similar to this, uh, but his is in much better condition. Uh, this one's pretty rough. But anyway, that's it for now.